Welcome aboard! If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say, congratulations! You've recently been attacked by an unknown god, lost your sibling, and are now traveling this new world called Tevat, armed with only a dull blade and this small little gremlin you found fishing. Can I go wish for a character now? Not yet! You still have a long way to go before you can pull your first 4 star, let alone 5 star. As you can see by this graph I found on Reddit, you are now playing one of the most financially successful games in the world. But it didn't get that way overnight, but over approximately 2,354 nights. No, the origins of Genshin Impact began with the company Mahoyo. Mahoyo began with three computer science students from Shanghai something something university who shared an interest in technology, anime, comics, and video games. Kai Haiyu, Liu Forest Wei, and Lu Yu Hao. It was created through blood, sweat, tears, and anime. But mostly anime. From humble beginnings. Genshin Impact began development as early as late January 2017. Breath of the Wild was held in high regard by the development team, and it is cited as one of the main inspirations for Genshin Impact. Their main game before Genshin Impact's success was Honkai Impact the Third, which, believe it or not, is not the third Honkai game. The artistic vision of the game was to combine an anime style with key elements from real life cultures, which can be seen clearly as each region is based on the region in the real world. We have Mondstadt based off of Germany, Liwei based off of China, and Inazuma based on Japan. But I'm getting ahead of myself. To understand why you're even here in the first place, first you need to understand the story. As mentioned previously, your progress was halted by a mysterious god wielding dark demonic minecraft blocks. It traps you and your sister or brother depending on which one you pick. You start out on a beach to where your story begins. In this journey, you will fight gods, dragons, wolves, hot KGB members, and mercenaries while also befriending gods, dragons, wolves, hot KGB members, and mercenaries. These friends who come from all different backgrounds can be obtained by the lucrative gotcha system, which will stop at nothing to dry your pockets to obtain the characters that you've been eyeing on even since before you've landed here. Does that mean I can wish for a character now? Not yet, sport. You haven't gone past the beginning area. Players can only unlock their wishes after completing the first act of the prologue of the Archon Quest which can be reached at around Adventure Rank 5. How do we do that? By playing the game, of course. So now, you must learn about the gameplay. I will try to explain this the best I can, so bear with me. Genshin Impact's gameplay is akin to that of Breath of the Wild, as mentioned previously which actually created some controversy when it was first launched, as it was touted as a ripoff. Its main draw is the combat system, which runs on seven elements of the world. Animo, Electro, Geo, Dendro, Cryo, Hydro, Hello, how are you? I'm under the water. and Pyro. Oh no! Many combinations of elements, when mixed and applied to enemies, or yourself, deal extra damage with different effects. Mix Electro and Pyro, you make shit explode. Hydro and Cryo, you freeze shit. Hydro and Electro, make shit sting for a bit, and so on. Dendro is a slight exception, because now you have two tiers of reactions you can fuck around with. Animo when reacting with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, and Electro simply amplify the already present element and spreads it around. I am currently not qualified to explain the damage multipliers and intricate systems you could use to apply these to different fights. 
These seven elements are given to characters in the game by these little trinkets called visions. And those characters are even further split into four different weapon types that they may wield. I am so sorry I forgot about pole arms I'm recording this at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Swords, claymores, bows, and catalysts. The lightning gold shoot from my fingertips! You can pick four characters to be in your party at any time. Since you will likely have four of them in your party at any given time, you will most likely be switching between them during gameplay. You cannot make me explain artifacts. Fuck you, I hate that shit. You cannot make me- While there will be different weapons, artifacts, that are best fit for certain characters, and a min-max way to build them, and as well as certain teams of characters that work best together, that is a lesson for another time, because I do not have the energy to try and explain that. So, you understood all of that? Uh-huh, does this mean I can pull for a character now? Slow down now. I appreciate the enthusiasm there, but first, you need to know the characters you'll be pulling before you actually pull for them. So, to further know what you're getting into, let's tackle characters and you. There will be many different people that you'll be meeting in your journey of Teyvat. And before you get to pull them, let's go through some of the first characters you'll be meeting, plus some of the community's favorites. Firstly, we have the Traveler, the character that you start out with. Depending on how many regions you visited, the Traveler can be any element you want it to be. But for now, we only have Animo, Geo, Electro, and Dendro, and maybe even Hydro in the near future. The Traveler is accompanied by this goblin little shit for brains you fished out of a pond named Paimon. Paimon's supposed to be your guide throughout Teyvat, and she does do her job at the beginning parts of the game, but the further you travel along your journey, Paimon will know less and less about the place you're exploring, so by the time you reach Sumeru, she'll be as clueless as you are turning from a guide to more as your voice as she comments during every single bit of dialogue in the game. At the start of your journey, you will meet Venti, a mysterious bard who you will probably mistake for a girl at first. But let me assure you, Traveler, this is definitely a guy. Amber, a bunny girl with a penchant for archery and explosive merchandise, as well as Kaya, Jean, and Lisa, all of whom are members of the Knights of Favonius, an administration that kind of runs the things in Mondstadt. Mondstadt isn't all there is, though, as soon you'll have to travel to Liwei, Inazuma, and Sumeru, or maybe even Fontaine in the near future, as I'm recording this video. These places have such quirky characters as Child, a harbinger, one of the Fatui's strongest members. Toma works for the Kamisato clan and does most of the household jobs. And Tainari and Kale, two people who are part of the forest rangers of Sumeru. Congratulations! So, now that you've familiarized yourself with the characters that you could be pulling for, Time for the moment you've all been waiting for! Wishing! You wish for characters using Primo Gems that you exchange for money. Primo Gems can be collected by doing quests, events, and generally exploring around the world. You exchange these Primo Gems for Fates, which are split into Acquaint Fates and Intertwined Fates. You use these fates on banners, the standard banner, which is available all the time 
but only has a select pool of available characters and weapons, and the event banners, which host limited time characters and weapons. Characters and weapons and banners are split between 3, 4, and 5 star rarity. You're most likely to get a 3 star weapon on a singular pool, but you can pull in groups of 10, and in every 10 pulls, you're guaranteed to get a 4 star weapon or character. And every 90 pulls, you are guaranteed to get a 5 star weapon or character. Though, your chances increase for each pull, especially when you reach pull 75. This my friend is what we call pity, the imaginary number that counts up the more pulls you do on a banner. But your pity does reset when you get a 5 star. Also, in event banners, you are more likely to achieve the 4 star and the 5 star featured in said banner. Well, don't spend all of it yet because there's a chance you might not even get the 5 star you wanted. Because you see, once you get a 5 star in an event banner, there is a 50-50 chance that you either get the 5 star featured in the banner or a 5 star from the standard banner. Increasing the maximum number of pulls, you'd need to guarantee a 5 star going from 90 to 180. So congratulations, you've completed your basic training of Genshin Impact. So go out there, experience the story, min-max your characters, cry when you lose the 50-50, but you know you're still gonna play anyway, but still wish to your heart's content. And remember, the most important thing you need to remember as a Genshin Impact player is that the age of consent is 18 years old. Okay, so like, I haven't actually played Genshin in one to two months. But okay, I'm making this, I made this thing because like, I, I saw the new trailer for the new region, and I saw this dude, I have no fucking idea what his name is, probably like the first time I see him, I think he was in like the trailer, like three years ago, just goes to show that they've been planning this shit for three years, like since day one, they've already known like all the characters and shit, but like, fuck, you, you know what I mean, like, mm. I don't know, man, I don't know, man, he, he, he doing something, He's doing something. He, he's fucking lit, okay? How do how am I supposed to explain? What how am I supposed to explain why like why